Hi guys, we're going to create a $695 McKenzie Childs arrangement. We're going to create a similar version from Dollar Tree that only cost me $25 to make. So if you're interested in making an arrangement for $25 versus $695, I think you'll like this video. Please remember if you like this video to give it a thumbs up and share it and also if you have not subscribed to my channel I would love to have you as a subscriber so this is a very budget friendly Dollar Tree Christmas arrangement I love looking at Mackenzie Child's website and seeing all their pretty decorations but of course they're always very expensive so I decided to try to recreate this flower arrangement using Dollar Tree materials so for this DIY you're going to need two white poinsettias from Dollar Tree, five berry picks also from Dollar Tree, three frosted greenery picks from Dollar Tree, six cotton bouquet picks, two red Christmas ornaments, the shatterproof ones from Dollar Tree, five willow picks, and my container is from Goodwill for two dollars and you're going to need some foam so you'll want to take some hot glue and hot glue your foam into your container be very careful when you're using your hot glue let the hot glue have time to completely dry make sure you fluff your flowers now these came from Dollar Tree and they are so pretty so I'm just taking one not trimming it or anything and just pushing it down in the center of the foam and I'm going to do the same thing with the second one Next, I'm going to take the five berry picks and fluff them and put them around the two white poinsettia picks. Now, in the Mackenzie Child's arrangement, they um, used amaryllis flowers. I hope I'm saying that correctly, but here I'm using poinsettias. So I'm just placing around the poinsettias five berry picks total. So make sure you fluff your flowers each time. And I did not trim these picks. I just pushed them into the foam. Next, I'm going to space out just a little bit further out from the berry picks. I'm going to space out three of the frosted greenery picks. These are really pretty. I could only find three, but if you could find maybe two more, that would look really pretty too. I did not want my cotton bouquet picks as long as the others, so we trimmed them shorter. So I'm using six of the cotton bouquet picks from Dollar Tree. So this is how it looks before I add the cotton picks. And so you want the flowers in the center to be the tallest. And so that's why these I trimmed shorter. So make sure you fluff your cotton bouquets and then just kind of place them at an angle into your foam. Now remember I did cut all six shorter. So just space out your cotton bouquets around the edge of the foam. Notice I am putting them down lower on the foam, more on the sides of the foam. Now you might also want to pick up some moss so that when you get finished, you can add some moss to cover up any spots that you might be able to see the foam. But I am just pushing these uh, cotton bouquets into the side of the foam. Now you don't have to use these exact flowers. I was just trying to make mine as close as I could to the Mackenzie Child's Royal Check Amaryllis arrangement. So this is just my version. And I'm going with red and white this year, so that's why I didn't paint my container blue and white and gold like theirs. Make sure you go back and fluff your flowers and kind of shape your arrangement. Next, I noticed in their flower arrangement, they added some Christmas ornaments. So here I'm adding two of the red shatterproof Christmas ornaments from Dollar Tree. I'm just adding some hot glue and just going to put it in the side of the arrangement and hold it for a little while until the glue has time to dry. And I put another one on the opposite side of the container. So just be very careful when you're using your hot glue. So this is how it looks after I've added the ornaments. Mackenzie Childs um, also had some fruit in their flower arrangement. I couldn't find any fruit, but I thought theirs was so pretty with the fruit added. So that's a thought if you can find some. And then last, I added some 
willow branches. I picked up five of the willow picks from Dollar Tree and I just kind of spaced them out at the bottom and then I added one right in the very center of the bouquet. After you have all of your picks added, then kind of spin your arrangement around and kind of fluff your flowers and shape your flower arrangement. And then I didn't have any moss, so I decided to pull some leaves off of some extra flowers and I just took a little hot glue and I just hot glued the leaves right onto the foam. That way it camouflaged the foam. So this flower arrangement cost me a total of $25, so $23 from Dollar Tree and then my vase was $2 from Goodwill. In the comment section below, you will have to let me know what you think of my $25 version of the Mackenzie Child flower arrangement versus their version for $695. You do not have to spend a lot to create beautiful flower arrangements. If you find something on the internet, snap a picture of it and then go to Dollar Tree or Dollar General or Michaels or Hobby Lobby or someplace and see if you can create that look for a lot less. Also, if you're needing a vase or a container, check Goodwill and thrift stores and places like that or garage sales. I like to find my containers at places like that because it's nice to recycle something when you can. Let me know if you like seeing videos where I recreate the look for less. So I love Mackenzie Childs and Pottery Barn and places like that. So if you want me to do more of this type video, let me know. Please remember to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe. Just click the subscribe button and if you want notifications for when I upload a tutorial, just click the bell and YouTube will notify you when I upload. Um, I am so close to 50,000 subscribers, so please help me to hit that milestone. So if you haven't subscribed, I would really appreciate you subscribing. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share. And don't forget, I am doing a Christmas giveaway where I'm going to pick three winners on November 26, 2020. So I have some pictures here. I have like giveaway one, giveaway two, and giveaway three. So I will link the video that has all the details about it in the drop down box below just in case you haven't watched yet. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Thank you so much for watching.